all Canadians have access to a family doctor. Yes, you've heard it before by the B.C. Liberals in 2010 and 2013. By 2015, everyone who wanted to have a family doctor would have access to a family doctor. It was known as a GP for me. Well, 2015 arrived, and while there was progress, many were still without a family doctor. Today, that number is around 780,000 British Columbians. For those in the industry, Trudeau's promise is hard to hear. I just scoff at it, basically. Uh, it is so complicated, and this has been going on for so long. Jorsvik runs a company that helps patients navigate the health care system, and she understands how difficult it is to find a family doctor. The situation is actually pretty critical. She says many of her clients scour clinic websites and local newspapers, constantly calling, only to be told they're full. And she says it's putting a strain on the bigger system. Emergency rooms are being used as family doctors, and that's what's happening and what will continue to happen until we find more family doctors. Dr. Rita McCracken has been practicing family medicine for 11 years, and she has no doubt better access to family doctors will mean healthier British Columbians. But putting that dream into practice is a problem BC has been working on for 15 years. Unfortunately, we haven't really moved the yardstick forward. She says one of the main reasons a GP for me failed was its focus on incentives. Not acknowledging that the current family doctors who are providing care in British Columbia are doing an amazing job and working as hard as they can. Simply providing an incentive fee for them to take on new patients was completely inadequate. They were already overwhelmed. What was and still is needed, she says, is structural change. Right now, the family physician model revolves around owning a business. That includes all the overhead costs that accompany a brick and mortar shop. Problem is, that's not what the next generation of doctors are interested in. New graduates are choosing work patterns that allow them to be human beings and parents uh, and not just family doctors. She wants to see BC move away from the traditional pay-per-visit structure of family medicine and instead offer salaries, which she believes will attract more graduates and create space for new patients. Joel Ballard, CBC News, Vancouver.